to prepare and take Sam Harris seriously anymore after he threw in the towel and his petty fight against Islam. So it's a explicitly macho religion. With Islam, there's an expectation that they're going to conquer the world. You don't have to be impatient necessarily. You can take as long as you want, but this is all we all know this is moving in one direction. Like it's not it's not this boring. I'm pretending to just uh, you know, I'll, I'll turn the other cheek, you know, hit, you know, thank thank you sir, can I have another? Um and you know where the it's it, it's it's a high T religion. He showed his smug face again on Pierce Morgan uncensored and again embarrassed himself. Much that is said about free speech doesn't really have to do with free speech when you're talking about these platforms. The interview begins with free speech. How social media needs to be regulated. For instance, these platforms have to be moderated. You can stage a play making fun of Mormonism on Broadway, and it can become the biggest musical in the United States. To stage such a play about Islam would be unthinkable because of the tendency in the Muslim community to erupt with just psychopathic rage in response to what the desecration of religious symbols. And that should be intolerable to us. It's still not a free for all to quote Ms. Harris. It's shocked that Muslims are outraged by the desecration of their symbols. So you, Sam, are a hypocrite. You and your scam community who will not tolerate freedom of speech if used by people you disagree with. Then the topic shifts into religion. The debating factor behind the, what Hamas did and why people are supporting them in such big numbers in the Muslim community is because they're Muslims. It's religion driven. What do you think of that idea that it's actually really about religion? A vast number of people in the Muslim community worldwide now are powerfully deranged by religious symbols and, and their religious identity, which is to say it is the most important thing to them. Religion is the thing, is the thing to blame for Hamas's stance and the world's quote unquote support for it, which is completely a lie. There's no one supporting Hamas. All of the flags risen are those of Palestine. Everyone is in support of the ceasefire of Palestine. Harris then makes crude remarks of Muslims' want of martyrdom. Uh, but more important even than the deaths of their own children. Literally like rigging children to explode. A child isn't simply a child, but a child might in fact, under certain circumstances, be a bomb. Want of dying for our belief, as if that's a bad thing. This is not a threat, but would you, Sam, not want to die fighting for democracy, fighting for the American freedom against us while Muslims? I expect a resounding no to be your answer since you're a coward. But, but what is outrageous is that he claimed that Muslim children are just walking bombs, that a child who died, premature child, those who died in incubators, martyred, those martyred children, were ripped to explode since they deserve to die. Children who slept the night before assuming comfort and safety now find themselves buried beneath the rubble of the destroyed building, the bombarded building by the Israeli offensive forces. That child was ripped to explode. He had to die. This is an outrage. He has dehumanized and desensitized the audience towards the Palestinian plight, to the child's plight to the children's tears, putting out these narratives that Muslims don't care about our children. Why are we protesting then? Muslims and non-Muslims, or like from Japanese to Swedes, have taken up the Palestinian flag and protesting for the sake of the Palestinian children, which you could not even give sympathy for. Response is motivated in some part, again, by a, a religious motivation, that some of the more hardline, uh, ultra-religious members of Netanyahu's cabinet really do want to have some kind of genocidal war with the Muslim Palestinians. I mean, does it work both ways? We're talking about a tiny minority of Jews in Israel, 15 million Jews on earth. Most of them are impressively secular. Most believe uh, very little would motivate a person to die for their religious identity. Now, truth be told, Bible has been used by Israel to demonize the Palestinians by calling them names like Amalek. But I agree with Harris that most Jews are around the world, including Israel, are secular people. And that's not a good look on the atheist community and the secular community. This just proves this point that they claim that atheists make and have been making that religion is the cause of most deaths is a false one. There has been no war more bloodier than the modern world 
under these secular regimes and of Palestine, all of this acted out in the name of liberal values, Western values. Israeli representatives have claimed that Israel is the one standing between us while Muslims and the Western values and the civilization to support Palestine is the end of civilization to quote Israel. The real problem of radicalization is the level, is the level of ideas. Right? It is in the name of secular Western values that 22,000 Palestinians have been murdered in cold blood in three months. Years worth of damage in three months, a third of which are children. All of it is to blame on people like Harris and his scam community, targeted ambulances, journalists, schools, mosques. All of this infrastructure targeted so that Gaza has no future as well. Comment your reaction on this. Appreciate you yeah. coming on and speaking with such clarity you, about a complex issue. Thank you very much. I'll conclude on this that we need to cease fire. Don't stop talking about Palestine. It is not pro Hamas. This has been a media propaganda for months now that pro Palestinians are pro Hamas, that we are all calling for jihad and killing innocents and civilians. Like this video for engagement and subscribe for more videos like these.